on, everybody? No beard go ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some News, babe. Hashtag Farm Some News. Feels weird to do Farm Some News in this room. Today, we've got 228 mods in testing. No, I did not make pictures. Plus, we've got eight modders to talk about. So let's jump right in. Usually, we start these videos with a rundown of the entire testing list, but I'm sure that would probably take over half of this video. So to speed the process up a little bit, I'll just share a few to look out for as the testing list is extremely long today with a total of 187 PC mods of testing and 36 console mods of testing. I'll leave a link below if you guys want to check that out for yourself and if you want to see the whole list. Regardless, there's some neat tractors in the first stage of testing, like the 1100MT, we have the Avant series, Case IH, uh, Axle Flow 2100 Combine Harvester, and things like that. We also have a handful of John Deere stuff in testing, but can't forget about the massive list of Lizard branded equipment. Can never have too much of that. Additionally, we have the TLX X52 Tipper from 82 studio which does have the unrealistic capacity whoop whoop it's great to see that in testing as far as console goes we see a lot of updates and things like that we've even got no man's land and green lenses back in testing although that's back in the pc side of things and we even have a new map portugal south at least i believe this to be a new map but that being said we still have 835 mod city waiting to be tested so that's great to see and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is also down to 15 work days moving over to modern news the ey modding has the first prototype of their International 88 2 Plus 2 series, aka the Ant Eater, in game and working. Obviously, there's still a lot to be done here, but we get an early sneak peek as to what we can expect to see moving forward. They've also released a video over on their YouTube channel, link below, showing the sounds of the machine, or <laughs> listening to them rather. Uh, this is a really cool tractor, and I love it. We even get to see the interior and the exterior. The tractor also features those custom sounds, which sound big, loud, and main. Oh, I love it. I definitely recommend checking that video out after this one. The tractor is still being worked on, but it's really cool to see such an early look at it like this. Normally, modders don't share their work this early, so it's definitely a sight that we rarely get. Yesterday, we talked about a truck from Hulse FS, and today we get to see another one, the Mercedes L1620, or the Lizard L1620, depending on what platform you're playing on. The pack looks to include some of the stuff that came with the FarmSim 19 version, maybe more, maybe less. We do get the truck itself. That's going to be a 4x2 or a 6x2 option. We get a bell loader grain body bulk things stuff like them livestock trailer and a water trailer i think there's some more stuff in there as well but i can't really put my finger on it this was a popular mod in farm sim 19 with a 4.4 star rating and i'm sure it's going to be even higher in 22. custom modding have released their dimco grain cart 22 series for pc players while we wait for the console version to go through the testing list on mod hub this version includes the 1100 and 1300 versions New axles for twin row crops, a Goodyear Dynator. We also have the Camso TTS 10, 110 tracks, realistic, to realistic tarp animations, can't speak today, realistic folding animations, Goodyear Optitrack LSWs, those are going to be the 1250 35 R46, which is a new tire. We're also going to have Michelin and Midas tires available. All colors from Dimco are going to be available. We have a black version, a USA version, Canadian version and much more. If you guys are on PC and you would like to download this mod ahead of time, check out the link below beside Demco Download. Holly Cow Modding have shared a little bit of information on their FarmTech Tourist 2000 Tipper today, which is returning for a third game in a row, 17, 19, and now 22. And we've actually got the mod, so let's jump into the game and check it out real quick. And here it is, 20,000 liter tipper right here. This is from Polycount Modding. We also have a 28,000 version as well. If you would rather go with that, this does hold all bulk crops, so literally anything you want to throw into it. We also have wheel brands. We got Michelin tires, BKT, Bridestein, Lizard. That's very cool to see. And we've got different versions of each. Now in Farming Simulator, yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, I was about to say, in Farming Simulator 19, we had crawler tracks on here i couldn't remember if they were 3d then or not but they <laughs> certainly are 3d now we also have a cover you can throw that on there if you want to and now as always we have a license plate i would like to thank polycount test for sending this over to show you guys real quick and we may have a separate video showing this and maybe some other stuff coming soon so stay tuned for that another trailer that we get to see today is the perard optum cl 300 sl which is a larger three axle version of the other perard trailers that we've seen and might be rounding out the family even though bruno said the previous trailer that we looked at was the last one hey i'll take more equipment bring it on this looks to include at least three auger wagons maybe five at least three manure spreaders maybe more and maybe mother stuff as well it's gonna be a pretty massive pack of trailers overall and is welcomed with open arms. Bruno is universe semi-modding, if you guys didn't know. 
Uh, and if it was obvious, we still know nothing about this pack, just that they exist. We do know that Universal Mew Modding makes things for all platforms, and they're good about bringing in new brands to all platforms as well. So we could be seeing much more than just a few trailers with this one. Hispano Modding says that their bunker pack has been uploaded to Mod Hub as of late last night, which includes two or three versions, rather. We have a 2 million liter, 4 million liter, and 6 million liter versions. This pack is for all platforms, and we should see it going onto the testing list around March 8th if things stay the same. Michigan Farms is making great progress on their Michigan map and has an update for us today after all of the work they've been working on over the weekend. They've started placing down the production change onto the map directly, saying that they wanted to make them part of the map versus having players put them down themselves or leaving them out of the map altogether. They wanted to make it a much better looking map and a more functional map so the players could really enjoy it, not have to put a bunch of stuff down. If you're like me, you like everything to match and you don't want to just put something down and be like, well, that doesn't match that. Uh, it's uh, never a fun time. So they have decided to do it all themselves. And this is the way to do it. I love it. Work is continuing and I'll keep you guys updated as things progress. And lastly, today we get a small bit of information from Peter716 saying that he's been doing some more work on New Park Farm to get it ready for Giants for testing for all platforms. And of course, to make the map better than Farming Simulator 19 was. If the preview of Greenlands was any hint, this one should be epic. Oh yeah, and speaking of, he says that there's still no update to Greenlands yet as it is currently with Giants and just went into the testing today. So fingers crossed that we do get to see it soon. If you do want to get an early sneak peek at this, I've got some video or I've got a video on the map tour of it. Uh, and also I believe it's uh, Steam Camp uh, Gaming. They've got some really cool stuff on there as well. So definitely check them out. And definitely check out some Let's Plays that I've been doing here on the channel. I've been having a great time doing it. Just like I have a great time with the outro. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News. Links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods. So myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's news video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. So my sunglasses are in the other room and I don't feel comfortable showing my eyes at the end of these videos. Yeah, my beard's gone. Feels weird.